Hey everybody, welcome to our species spotlight on the Corridoras Julii. First, we're gonna start with a little bit about wild habitats and their origins. Uh, the Corridoras Julii originates from coastal river systems, predominantly, but not exclusive to northeastern Brazil and in areas below or south of the Amazon. They're typically found in creeks, tributaries, and in flooded forest areas. They prefer a shallow, uh, slower moving type water environment. Water conditions that they're typically found in are uh, slightly acidic to neutral water. Um, they prefer temperature ranges or are typically found in temperatures of about 72 to 78 or 22 to 26 degrees Celsius. This species is actually one of the founding uh, fish in the aquarium hobby. The Corridors Julii has a long history in aquarium keeping, a very popular species. Now we're going to talk a little bit about the color, size, compatibility, tank setup and so forth uh, when keeping your Corridors Julii. The Corridors Julii really should be kept, like other quarries in fact, uh, in group sizes of at least six fish. Uh, the type of fish you want to keep them with should not be boisterous or very fast moving or any sort of aggressive species. They really do better with slow, uh, slower, smaller to medium sized species of fish. Corridors Julii attain a size of about two inches or five centimeters in length. Uh, the differences between male and female are that the female is somewhat larger and broader uh, than the male. Uh, when you view them from the top, on well-conditioned fish, this is, is really obvious and easy to see. If you're interested in breeding Corridors Trulii, um, to stimulate spawning a temperature drop that occurs after a partial water change is a great way to trigger the spawning. When it comes to coloration, the Corridors Trulii um, is basically distinguished by a series of small spots, especially on the snout and lower head area, throughout its body uh, with other little marks and so forth, black little uh, partial lines over a beige translucent kind of background pattern. Um, the dorsal fin has a nice crisp black crescent in the middle of the dorsal fin. It's actually a very attractive little fish. Now the minimum tank size requirement for a group of six Cordoras Julii really is about 25 US gallons or roughly 100 liters. The type of setup you want to maintain should be over a substrate bottom. Uh, they do well with some smooth rocks and, uh, and you can have accents of larger pieces of driftwood. That's really kind of an ideal setup for them. You can include some leaf litter if you wish as well. Uh, and an additional thing that you may want to consider are some plantings, uh, some light, keeping some live plants in plantings that are fairly dense in certain areas. But I think the most important thing to maintain is wide open sandy spaces so that they can cruise about the bottom as they search for food. Now a little bit about the water conditions. Um, they prefer a more moderate current. Uh, the temperature range should be between 75 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit or 24 to 27 degrees Celsius. As far as the pH is concerned, uh, keeping them within a range of six to seven is ideal. Going to 7.5 is no problem at all, but neutral to slightly acidic is a little bit better. Uh, when it comes to water hardness, one to 18 degrees of hardness is, uh, is an acceptable range for these fish. Now, when it comes to feeding your Corridoras Julii, these are not uh, fussy fish to feed like most quarries. They are not really difficult to feed at all. Uh, the typical food offer should consist of uh, sinking granules, uh, small tablets, uh, including some vegetable vase formulations and the offer is a good thing for them. Uh, you want to make sure, again, as I mentioned before, sand substrate, very important, so they like to ru rummage through that. And when it comes to particular diets of note, uh, Fluval Bug Bites does offer a sinking small granule for bottom feeders, which is excellent given the black soldier fly larva protein content. Uh, very good for Corridors Julii. You can, of course, feed them some small chopped up frozen foods, such as uh, shrimp and bloodworms. Uh, some frozen daphnia from time to time is a great idea as well. I think one of the most important points about feeding any Corridor's catfish 
is to be aware of the fact that they need to be given at least one or two feedings a day. They will not do well nor survive long term if they have to uh, rely on food remnants that may be left over from other fish in the aquarium. In summary, we'd like to say that the Corridor's Julii is one of our preferred quarries. It's widely available, easy to keep, and there are just a couple of things like you would have to respect for and keeping uh, for the keeping of any Corridor species. Make sure to provide them with a sand substrate, some open areas, keep them in a group size of at least six to 10 fish, and you will be able to enjoy one of the most interesting little quarries that is out there. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to comment and subscribe below. And until the next time.